This is the homework for lesson 16. It's module four of grade three. Please write your name here first. Jeremy plans and designs his own dream playground on grid paper. His new playground will cover a total area of 100 square units. This chart shows how much space he gives for each piece of equipment or area. Use the information in the chart to draw and label a possible way Jeremy can plan his playground. There's lots of ways to plan the playground. Uh, don't take my work as the only way that it can be done. But he talks about, just want to make sure you know it from the beginning, 100 square units. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to guess that it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the 100 square units they're talking about. is this whole grid this whole grid is the hundred square units now these different areas are the ones that you have to map out this is the chart clean all this up there so you can put these and these are not going to add up to a hundred so you don't have to worry about how they all fit together just put them where you want and label them so your basketball court's going to be 10 square units basketball courts are rectangles so i'm just going to just put this somewhere and 10 the i'm just going to make it a two by five one two three four five and call this my b-ball court and then my jungle gym is nine square units um, let's make this thing to go one two three four i want to make this i'm going to make this kind of l-shaped one two three four Five, six, seven. Ooh, let's make it like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll do it like that. Eight, nine. Jungle, jungle gym, and slide is six square units. So I'm going to have my slide area I'm going to have it over here by the jungle gym. Actually, no, I don't want it behind the basketball court. I'm going to have it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slide. And the soccer area, 24 square units. That would be like a six by four rectangle. Uh, one, two, three, four, five six oh i'm gonna have to move my jungle gym area over a little bit if i want to fit my soccer you know, my soccer area should be kind of a rectangle that's a really big rectangle and now i don't have a place where i can fit it all in one rectangle uh, so i'm gonna have to move my i'm gonna have to reconfigure my jungle gym and this might happen to you when you're doing yours you might realize that you have nowhere to put that thing. So it might be easier for you when you do yours to uh, just 
do the big pieces first and then you can figure out where everything else fits around them and that's the basketball court in the soccer area and i'm going to put my soccer area here in the corner one two three four five six so there's my soccer rectangle my soccer field And then my jungle gym I can fit in over here. Nine square units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. So there. And uh, so that can be a possible way he can plan his playground. The basketball court has 10 square units. Jungle gym has nine. The slide has six and the soccer area has 24. The only thing I was thinking about is that you don't want to have a slide or a jungle gym over here or over here because, you know, the ends of the basketball court... Um, that's where balls tend to go out of bounds, and you don't want balls bouncing into the jungle gym. That's it really the you you don't even have to think that much about it. It just had the stuff just has to fit together. So you may have to erase it and change it like I did, uh, and you may come up with a much better plan than I did. But that was just what I what I thought of.